And with the TSA, Senator Rand Paul says he was detained at, an, at the Nashville airport. And tonight, the White House is defending the TSA. Now, we spoke with Senator Paul earlier today. Listen to what he says, and you decide. The White House, the TSA, or the senator. Good to be with you, Greta. Okay, Senator, you had a bit of a dust-up today with the TSA. Yeah. What happened? Well, you know, I've been going to the airport pretty frequently over the last year since I was elected, and most time I haven't had any trouble, but this morning I went through the screener, and the screener, the machine, said that there was a hot spot near my knee, so I showed them my knee and pulled my sock down and thought that would be sufficient, but they wanted to do a pat-down exam, and I said, well, I'd just soon walk back through the screener they've let me do that before and uh, they said no you either get a pat down or you don't fly and I said well I'd rather just talk to the manager but nobody there seemed to be willing to let me go back through the screener and this is a conversation we've been having with Pistol at the TSA is that you know I fought hard in the spring to have little kids go back through the screener but I thought we were also going to apply it to adults since they had let me at previous airports the bottom line, though, is I think we, in order to travel, we need to have some dignity. We can have security and dignity, but they, the TSA needs to do a better job. You know, it's funny when I when I heard that. I mean, the word detention was you you was used. Did you feel <laughs> detained at any point? Well, yeah, I was detained in one of those little clear cubicles where they detain you, and I was uh, very aggressively told not to leave the cubicle, so in my mind, I felt like I was being detained because I did step out of the cubicle one time to talk to the TSA, and I was very forcefully told that I needed to re-enter or face more serious repercussions. In fact, when I wanted to use my cell phone to call my office, because I was supposed to be here for a March for Life rally on the mall area, and tell them that I wasn't going to make it. They told me that now because I had used my have a full pat down and that to me I took as a threat and I didn't really take that very well that they were going to punish me for using my phone. You know in a sort of a twisted way Senator I'm happy this happened to you and the reason <laughs> let me tell you why is because you know many of us travel a lot and there are so many things we need to fix about this system we need to be secure but there's so many things and you actually are in sort of a, a position to fix this because your you know your experience is you know not uh, unlike a lot of other experiences around the country where the system isn't working perfectly well, I think all Americans, I don't want special treatment, all Americans should be allowed to choose pat down or go back through the scanning machine. The other thing I learned today, and several TSA officials told me off the record, that the scanning machine sends a false positive signal so they can randomly pat down people. And I was told that's why it was positive. And then they finally let me go back through the screener about an hour and a half later, and it was negative. So either the machine is not very good or they're programming in random screenings and a couple of them off record told me yes I probably was being subjected to a random screening but they're kind of tricking the public into thinking oh you set off the buzzer so we don't have a choice in doing this random pat down and I don't think the random pat downs are making us any safer I want to know where the Middle Eastern students are that are here visiting our country are they in class are they going to class if they get on a plane if you've been to Yemen twice in the last six months I want to know who you are and know more about your travel but most American citizens need to go through a relatively easy security process that's not too uh, invasive and doesn't uh, take away our dignity I know that you said you don't want to be treated differently from anybody else but at any point or any time did anyone recognize who you who you are and think oh no that's a US senator People finally did uh, say to me, Senator Paul, but I always show just my driver's license. I wait in the same line. I don't ask for any kind of special privileges at the airport. And even when they brought me back in, I had 15 minutes to make the flight. Now they were trying to let me skip the, the line. I waited in the line the whole time because I don't want people to think I'm trying to get something different. What I'm trying to get is a system for frequent travelers of any sort and all stripes. I want to make it easier for you to get through the airport you know, the fact that we're taking an adult diaper off of an 88-year-old woman, the fact that we take a diaper off an eight-month-old girl, the fact that we're doing invasive exams of six-year-old girls, 
it needs to change. They're changing some of this, but only when we really tell them that we're upset. So I think Americans need to, when they go to the airport, the next time the buzzer goes off, Americans need to say, I want to go through the screening again to make sure your screening's working. And if we had a million people ask that tomorrow, maybe the TSA would change their policy. Well, you know, some of the special uh, screenings, I actually paid for one of those special services, and it's only available like at one airport, and they're never staffing it. I mean, it's the most absurd thing in the world. Um, you know, and so we actually need someone to sort of champion the cause to, to make it better. And if people are willing to go through these pre-screenings and pay extra money and have a faster line, or if they're willing to go through the machine or they want a pat down or whatever, we ought to be able to have that. But no one seems to be championing that. Yeah, the, the, a frequent flyer program or a trusted travel program, it's been 10 years and they're just now starting it in a few airports. The private programs where you could buy and get your background check done, they didn't work also because they still sent you through the same security. You didn't get a faster line and you didn't get to keep your shoes on or your belt on. You were still going through the same process and it didn't speed up anything. Now they have a special line in many airports for the pilot. What I would do is take the special line for the pilot, which I'm all for, and I would start adding to that frequent business travelers that are willing to do a background check. The other thing it does is it allows the screeners then to spend more time with people that may be a threat to our country when they're really? spending less time with people who are just regular business travelers. Well, the whole thing with the pilot, I've been behind a bunch of pilots in line, and I've always thought that's, uh, we're looking to see if they have anything in their pockets, yet if they really want to do right. damage, they're behind the controls of the plane and could do horrible yeah. damage. But anyway, well, I, I, hope, uh, I hope you take this up as one of your causes, because I travel a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you.